Osteoodontokeratoprosthesis, or tooth and eye surgery, is a procedure used to replace damaged corneas, usually under the circumstances of patients suffering from Stevens-Johnson syndrome or victims of chemical burns. The reason a tooth is used in this surgery is because when it's implanted into the patient's eye, it's recognized as a part of their own body by their immune system, and therefore their immune system will not attack and reject it. The first phase of the procedure starts by removing one of the patient's own teeth, usually their molar, along with some of their jawbone, to be shaped into a block. A hole is drilled through the root of the tooth to make space for the optic cylinder to be inserted. This is what will aid the brain in processing images as it allows them to reach the retina. Next, the tooth is implanted below the eye opposite to the one with corneal damage in a pocket of skin. A piece of the patient's inner cheek is cut off and stitched over the damaged eye, which temporarily obscures their vision. Both things are left to grow tissue and develop circulation over the course of a few months. In the second phase of tooth and eye surgery, the tooth is taken out of the pocket of skin and excess tissue is discarded. The cheek skin is peeled off and the entire front of the damaged eye is removed to be replaced by the cheek skin. After the removal of the old cornea, the tooth and lens are implanted into the eye. The cheek skin is stitched over once again with a small hole for the lens, and the surgery is complete. As a result, the patient will have significantly better vision.